Did you know that some of Canada's biggest cities are seeing more people leave than ever before? That's right. As much as we love the hustle and bustle of city life, there's been a massive shift lately with people packing up and saying goodbye to urban living. Whether it's skyrocketing home prices, fewer job opportunities, or simply the search for a better quality of life, entire communities are moving on. But where are they going? And why are so many people leaving these once thriving cities? In today's video, we're diving into the top 10 Canadian cities that people just can't seem to stay in. And no, it's not just the cold winters chasing them away. From Toronto to Vancouver, these cities are losing residents fast. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly why. So whether you're curious about the trends reshaping Canada's urban landscape, or you're wondering if it's time to make a move yourself, stick around. We've got some eye-opening insights you won't want to miss. Plus, stay tuned to the end for a surprising city that's actually gaining residence and might just be your next dream destination. Number 10. Sudbury kicking off our list at number 10 is Sudbury, Ontario. Known for its mining history and as one of Canada's primary nickel producers, Sudbury was once a thriving hub of industry. But in recent years, the city has seen a steady decline in population. Why? Well, the answer lies in the very thing that made Sudbury famous, its mining sector. As the global demand for resources has shifted and the industry has slowed, so too has the local economy. With fewer job opportunities in mining and limited growth in other sectors, many residents have been forced to look elsewhere for work. Another factor, Sudbury's remote location and harsh winters. It's no secret that Canadian winters can be brutal. But in Sudbury, the long, cold months and its relative distance from major metropolitan areas are making people think twice about staying. As more Canadians prioritize quality of life and the balance between work and leisure, many are choosing to relocate to more temperate climates or urban areas that offer greater economic diversity and access to amenities. But don't get us wrong, Sudbury still has plenty to offer, especially if you're drawn to the outdoors and a slower pace of life. However, for those seeking career growth, warmer climates, or simply a change, the trend has been to move on, and this exodus has only been picking up steam. Ready to see who's next? Let's keep going down the list to see which other Canadian cities are feeling the pressure. Number 9. Windsor At number 9, we have Windsor, Ontario, a city that has long been tied to the fortunes of the automotive industry. Located right across the river from Detroit, Windsor's economy has traditionally been driven by manufacturing, particularly in the auto sector. But as we've seen over the years, shifts in this industry have had a direct impact on the city's population trends. Job losses, factory closures, and automation in manufacturing have all contributed to fewer employment opportunities, pushing residents to seek greener pastures elsewhere. Another factor contributing to Windsor's shrinking population is its proximity to the U.S. border. While being so close to the United States once made Windsor a strategic location for cross-border work and trade, recent years have shown that many residents are now choosing to relocate either across the border or to more prosperous Canadian cities. Whether it's for better job prospects, a higher standard of living, or lower taxes, Windsor's status as a border city is no longer the draw it once was. Then there's the housing market. While Windsor remains one of Ontario's more affordable cities, the job market simply hasn't been able to keep up with the growing cost of living, making it harder for many to justify staying. For those looking for more diverse job markets or a stronger economy, cities like London, Ontario, or even Toronto offer more promise. Number 8. St. John's coming in at number 8 is St. John's, Newfoundland, and Labrador. As the easternmost city in North America, St. John's is rich in history, coastal charm, and natural beauty. But despite its picturesque landscape, this Atlantic city has been losing residents, and there are some clear reasons why. The biggest factor driving people away from St. John's is the struggling oil industry. Like many places heavily reliant on natural resources, St. John's boomed when oil prices were high. However, the downturn in global oil demand has hit the local economy hard. Job opportunities in the energy sector have dwindled, and with fewer prospects in other industries, many residents are seeking employment elsewhere in Canada. 
Cities like Halifax and Toronto are common destinations for those looking for more diverse economic opportunities. In addition to economic challenges, St. John's faces geographic isolation. Its location makes it more expensive to import goods, which drives up the cost of living for essentials like food and fuel. While this might not be a deal breaker for everyone, it's a significant reason why many young professionals and families are opting to leave. Finally, the harsh weather can be another deterrent. The long, cold winters and frequent storms make life in St. John's tough, especially for those who crave a bit more sunshine and milder climates. With better job opportunities and more temperate weather elsewhere, the outflow of residents from St. John's is becoming harder to ignore. Number 7. Regina At number 7, we have Regina, the capital of Saskatchewan. Known for its wide-open prairies, Regina has long been a key player in Canada's agricultural industry. However, in recent years, the city has been struggling to retain its population. So why are people leaving? One of the primary reasons is the slowing job market. While Regina has historically thrived on agriculture and resource-based industries, these sectors have faced significant challenges in recent years. Climate change and global market shifts have impacted crop production and farming revenues, which has led to fewer opportunities for employment. At the same time, the city hasn't diversified its economy as much as other parts of Canada, leaving residents with limited career options, especially in emerging industries like tech and finance. Another key factor is population stagnation. As larger cities across Canada experience rapid growth, Regina's population has remained relatively stable, if not declining. This stagnation can make it difficult for businesses to thrive, leading to fewer amenities and services, which in turn drives more people away in search of better opportunities and lifestyles in larger urban centers. Rajina's cold winters also play a role. For those tired of long, harsh winters, especially when paired with limited economic growth, warmer or more dynamic cities become much more attractive. With both economic and climate factors at play, Regina has been losing residents to cities that offer a better balance of job opportunities and livability. But there are still more cities on the list. Let's keep going. Number six, Winnipeg sliding in at number six is Winnipeg, Manitoba's capital and one of Canada's larger cities. While Winnipeg has a rich history, diverse culture, and a strong art scene, it has been experiencing an exodus of residents in recent years. So what's causing people to leave? One of the biggest reasons is Winnipeg's infamous weather. Known for its extremely cold winters, with temperatures often plummeting well below freezing, the city's climate can be a serious challenge for many. The long, harsh winters can take a toll, especially on families and retirees looking for a more comfortable climate. It's no surprise that many are moving to cities with milder temperatures and shorter winters. Economically, Winnipeg has also struggled to keep pace with other major Canadian cities. While it's more affordable than cities like Toronto and Vancouver, job opportunities, particularly in high-paying sectors, are relatively limited. The local economy is largely driven by government services, manufacturing, and agriculture, but it lacks the booming tech and finance industries that are attracting workers to other regions. This has led younger professionals and recent graduates to leave in search of better career prospects in cities like Calgary, Edmonton, and Ottawa. Finally, despite its affordability, Winnipeg's crime rate has also been a growing concern for residents. As safety becomes a more pressing issue, people are increasingly looking for safer, more economically stable cities to call home. Number five, Edmonton. In the fifth spot, we have Edmonton, Alberta's capital city. Known as the gateway to the north, Edmonton has been a key hub for Canada's oil and gas industry. But in recent years, it has faced significant challenges, leading to a noticeable population decline. One of the main reasons people are leaving Edmonton is the volatility in the oil and gas sector. As the global energy landscape shifts toward renewable energy, traditional oil-dependent economies like Edmonton are feeling the strain. The downturn in oil prices has led to layoffs, reduced investment, and fewer opportunities in this once-booming industry. For many, the economic uncertainty has driven them to cities with more diversified job markets, like Vancouver, Toronto, or even smaller cities with growing tech sectors. Another factor is Edmonton's brutal winters. The city experiences long, cold winters that can stretch for months, 
with temperatures regularly dropping well below freezing. While many Canadians are accustomed to cold weather, Edmonton's climate can be especially harsh, pushing residents to seek warmer climates or cities with milder seasons. Lastly, Edmonton's rising crime rate has become a concern for many residents. Coupled with economic struggles, the perception of safety has prompted some people to relocate to cities with lower crime rates and better overall quality of life. Despite its strong community and vibrant arts scene, these challenges are making it difficult for Edmonton to retain its population. Number four, Calgary. At number four, we have Calgary, Alberta, once a booming city with a thriving oil industry and a rapidly growing population. Known for its proximity to the Rocky Mountains and its stunning skyline, Calgary has been a symbol of Western Canada's prosperity. However, in recent years, the city has seen a notable outflow of residents. So what's driving people away? Like Edmonton, Calgary has been hit hard by the downturn in the oil and gas industry. As the backbone of the city's economy, the oil sector's decline has led to widespread layoffs, economic uncertainty, and a lack of job opportunities, particularly in higher paying positions. The city's reliance on a single industry has made it difficult for many workers to find alternative employment, prompting them to relocate to cities with more diversified economies, like Toronto or Vancouver. Another significant factor is the cost of living. While Calgary used to be one of the more affordable major cities in Canada, rising housing costs have made it less attractive for residents, especially when paired with the economic challenges the city faces. This has driven both young professionals and families to seek out more affordable, stable cities elsewhere in the country. And of course, there's the weather. Calgary's winters are long and cold, with significant snowfall, which can be a deterrent for those seeking a more temperate climate. When combined with economic instability, the harsh weather has contributed to a growing number of people packing up and moving on. Number three, Montreal landing in the third spot is Montreal, Quebec. Known for its vibrant culture, world-class cuisine, and European charm, Montreal has long been one of Canada's most iconic cities. But despite its rich history and thriving art scene, more and more people are choosing to leave this bustling metropolis. So what's behind the exodus? One of the biggest challenges Montreal faces is its job market. While the city has a strong presence in creative industries like film, music, and tech, job opportunities in other high growth sectors, such as finance and engineering, are more limited compared to cities like Toronto and Vancouver. The city's slower economic growth has pushed many professionals particularly younger workers, to seek out more dynamic job markets elsewhere. Montreal's high taxes are another factor. Quebec's income taxes are among the highest in Canada, which can be a deterrent for both individuals and businesses. For many residents, the combination of high taxes and limited job prospects has been enough to prompt them to move to provinces with lower tax burdens and more economic opportunities. Then there's the language barrier. While Montreal is a bilingual city, with both English and French widely spoken, the province's strong emphasis on French can be a challenge for newcomers and non-French speakers. This can limit job opportunities and make integration into the local culture more difficult, prompting some to relocate to other cities where language isn't a barrier. Number two, Vancouver. In the runner-up spot, we have Vancouver, British Columbia, a city that's often praised for its stunning natural beauty ocean views, and vibrant cultural scene. It's no surprise that Vancouver has been a dream destination for many, but in recent years, more and more residents have been leaving this West Coast paradise. The reasons might surprise you. The number one reason people are leaving Vancouver. Housing costs. Vancouver consistently ranks as one of the most expensive cities in the world when it comes to real estate. Skyrocketing home prices and high rents have made it nearly impossible for many residents to afford living in the city. Even well-paying professionals find themselves priced out. And for young families or those just starting out, owning a home feels like an unattainable dream. As a result, many are choosing to move to more affordable cities like Calgary, Edmonton, or smaller towns across BC. Another factor driving the exodus is the cost of living in general. Beyond housing, the price of everyday necessities like groceries, transportation, and dining out are higher in Vancouver compared to many other Canadian cities, 
With wages not keeping pace with the cost of living, many residents are feeling the financial strain. Lastly, while Vancouver offers a beautiful outdoor lifestyle, it comes with some downsides. Rain. Lots of rain. The city is notorious for its long, gray, and rainy winters, which can take a toll on residents who crave sunshine in a warmer climate. Number one, Toronto. And taking the top spot on our list is none other than Toronto, Ontario. As Canada's largest city and one of its most iconic, Toronto has long been a magnet for people from across the country and around the world. But despite its status as an economic and cultural powerhouse, Toronto has been experiencing a mass exodus in recent years. So why are so many people leaving this bustling metropolis? The biggest culprit, housing costs. Toronto's housing market has become notoriously unaffordable, with home prices soaring to record highs and rent following closely behind. For many, the dream of owning a home in the city is simply out of reach, and even renting can be a financial struggle. This housing crisis is pushing people to look for more affordable living options in nearby cities like Hamilton, Barrie, or even farther afield in provinces like Alberta and Nova Scotia. Another key factor is congestion and lifestyle. As Toronto has grown, so has its traffic. Long commutes, overcrowded public transportation, and the general hustle and bustle of city life have made it less appealing for those seeking a better work-life balance. With the rise of remote work, many residents are opting to trade Toronto's urban density for smaller cities or even rural areas, where they can enjoy a slower pace and more space. Finally, while Toronto offers job opportunities, the competition is fierce, and many are finding that the high cost of living outweighs the benefits. For those looking for a more balanced lifestyle, Toronto's allure is fading. Before we wrap up, we want to hear from you. Have you noticed people leaving your city? Or are you thinking of making a move yourself? Drop a comment below and let us know. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our previous video on most racist towns in Canada. We put a lot of effort into making these videos, so if you found this helpful, please support us by hitting that subscribe button. It's just one click, but it means the world to us. Thanks for watching.